and welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. So today we're going to be doing a smoky eye look. It's going to be completely brown smoky eye. We don't have any kind of black shades in there so you'll see there what it looks like and then a brown lip to match as well. So let's just jump straight on into the video. I'm going to start by doing my eyebrows in my Anastasia Dip Brown in the color Dark Brow and I'm going to draw them on using my eyeliner brush. Then using my MAC Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre, I'm going over my lid as a primer and I'm also making sure to carve out my eyebrows with a nice crisp line. Once all the product is on my lid, I then just go over it with my finger to make sure it's nicely smoothed out and then I'll set it using a loose powder. And the whole purpose of this is to make sure that your lid is nice and smooth so your eyeshadow goes on flawlessly. If you get any powder in your eyebrow, you can just grab a spoolie and run it through and it'll be like it never existed. So I kind of wanted to wear like a, I guess a smoky brown eye tonight. And I based everything off my lovely little eye shade at, um, palette by Sports Girl off the color chalk. I don't know even how you do that, but anyway, I decided to use chalk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by transitioning to Pecan. I'm going to do the lid in chalk, and then I'm going to get some browns from some other palettes to um, accentuate the outer corner of my eye. So we're going to start with a round brush. Where would that be? All right, this round brush will do. Not round, but you know, like the tapered or whatever it's called, fluffy brush. What is this? Morphe M513. So we're going to start with that and start with Pecan. I don't know why, but like... I didn't flatten one spot in my, um, what's it called? Paint pot. <laughs> in my paint pot. And now there's a little bit of texture there and it's really gross. But anyway, YOLO. Something that sometimes people tend to forget to do. Or it's not necessarily a forget, but just might not do is go in here. I quite like to go in here and accentuate, extend the eye. It probably doesn't even make sense. I don't know. It's been a long day. And make sure you drag it out as well. So you'll see when I did the paint pot underneath, I dragged it way further than it needs to be. Because if you do it too exact and you don't go far enough, it's just like so annoying. So yeah, it's my way around it. So just jumping into my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. Going to grab Cypress Umbra. Um, yeah, I'm just going to use the same brush. Why not? And I am like tapping it the slightest bit to start with because I know color payoff on this one a lot greater so this is just going to go straight into the crease to darken a little bit transition number two I'm really kind of more staying in the crease with this one as opposed to absolutely going ham like the other one so I like to stop because my eyes are very puffy and like hooded I need to stop and like it back and make sure that I'm putting the color in the right spot. All right, so going in now with the color that started it all, I am going to take a flat brush for this one. I should really talk into the camera and not into my brushes, but here's a flat brush which is like mm, clean enough, it's got brown on it, so that's fine. I like to start with Outfix Plus and kind of just line it up, see where I want to be, and then once I'm kind of happy with the placement. Then I like to go in, if if even necessary, to be quite honest with you, and make it a bit more something. Now you notice with this, you can see here, it is not a huge difference in the browns. I knew that going in. Often I'll do a lighter color on the lid. Um, but in this case, I just kind of felt like it being a really intense, smoky eye. So I'm going to give this brush a little spray now. My Fix Plus. My face is starting to look really red because of all the browns and yellows that's on there. It's kind of gross. Whatever. I'll go like this as well because I feel like it carves out my eye. And if I carve it out too much, take a brush, go over it, your transition brush, and you're all good. So this is just with one spray fix plus. Can you see the difference? Like it's it it makes a huge difference. So I would highly recommend fix plus to anyone to be honest um it really helps bring out also those colors that aren't necessarily great in a palette just gives them the life they need so with the outer corner i'm going to start with the cypress umbar 
that we did when we darkened the crease there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to straight afterwards jump into this Tarte Tartiste palette and go with the colour Smoked. It's a, uh, how do I say, a drier brown? Like the Anastasia is a bit more, I'd say, purple based brown, if that makes any sense. The other one's more like a real earthy. I, I don't think I'm making sense. Anyway. The two different browns, so I'm going to start with the one that's going to blend the look and then go with the one that's going to add contrast. That's essentially what I'm getting at. And I'm going to use this Zoeva 231 brush. It is tapered at the top, you will see, which gives me a bit more precision, but it's not as fluffy as the one we used for transition colours. <laughs> Why, but I always find this side of my eye to be a lot more challenging. I don't know if anyone finds that, you can let me know in the comments if you have a challenging eye. It's like my problem eye. Some people have a problem child, I have a problem eye. It's not really the same, is it? My amount of caring has gone down, so I feel like I could almost leave it like that. Now I'm gonna use the other one, I'm probably not gonna go out as much. So just use a little bit of smoke now. I've been using Cypress under the whole time. Okay, so makeup remover pad with makeup remover on it. I fold it in half so that we've got a nice solid edge. I line it up on my eye and then just pull it like that. And the same here, line it up with my eye. And then obviously checking that you've gone at the same angle with both. And then after that, I'll just do underneath as well. Alright, so I am going to just go awkwardly pick up Max from work, looking like this. I'm going to go get him and then I'm going to come back and we can do the face. Okay, I'm back and I have a mix of my Maybelline, Maybelline Fit Me Foundations, colour 120 and 220. So if I got that on my face and I'm just going to blend it in with my beauty blender. Do I want to do it? I just can't be bothered getting my fingers dirty, but anyway. I do think it's more economical to kind of start rubbing it with your fingers. I don't know why I thought this, but I feel like it is. So I will. So I have Max. He is now home. No one saw me with my half done face, so that's a positive. Sorry if you can hear a noise in the background as well. I am cooking rice for dinner. And so the fan is on. <laughs> I'm gonna put a mountain of foundation on to be fair. I was gonna go cray today. I feel like I kind of regret that decision, but I also feel like I'm kind of too lazy to put any more on. So <laughs> we're at a crossroad here. Using my Sports Girl Contour Stick, I am going to do a little bit of contouring. I really need to get one of those really cute um, headbands that people use, you know, when they're doing their makeup. <laughs> Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the color Light. And I'm just going to start highlighting. Oh, it's not really highlighting, is it? Concealing? Oh my god, I didn't blend that underneath. Maybe embarrassing. Yeah. I think concealer is like literally my most used product. I swear I opened this not that long ago. And look how empty it is. Can you see? What the hell? Oh, this is just my Zoeva. 110 face shape brush which is almost guaranteed not the correct brush it is just a little it's actually bent it's not uneven it's, it's round and it's not clean because i only ever use it for the one thing so it really doesn't need to be cleaned after every use just means i need to use less product next time right because half of it's already in my brush but really it's economical for the environment and my wallet like I said, I don't feel like there's much on my face today in terms of foundation and stuff. I know you may beg to differ. Why is this still brown? So I'm not going to cake on the under eye powder. I'm actually just going to use a brush and kind of put a light layer on that's that's a vibe I'm feeling so I'm gonna go back into my Maybelline powder um the you think I'd know this because I use it like every video slash every time I do makeup 
color light it's the looser powder so put that into the lids the easiest way just with a powder brush just gonna tap it on <laughs> My benefit bronzer in the color Fula of this little brush here. It's just a multi angled brush. It's not even super angled. I don't even know. Just going over all that dark contour. I'm making sure I definitely get up into the hairline. So I don't want my contour to start like halfway down my face. That'd be a little orcs. Now with my Zoe Bar 106 powder brush, big fat fluffy brush, just kind of make, I don't know, what's this called, blending? <laughs> just making sure I have colour back in my face, being alive again. Right now, I don't know if you can see here, but in person, my neck is not the same colour as my face, which is a major issue. And... I have a, oh, let me see if I can zoom you out, a top on as well that's showing up my chesticle. I want to make sure that blends too. I like it's important because your makeup, even if it's the same kind of color, like the shades can vary. So even just a light layer is just going to blend everything together, you know? All right, I'm going to do a rice check as I zoom you in. And we're going to come back, do some more face, do the under eye. Oh, it's going to be amazing. So we're going to start with using the color Pecan, which is what we used to transition earlier. ATM, it honestly looks like I just have bags under my eyes. I promise it's going to get better. So I'm going to go in, remember Cypress Umber. Same brush. And go underneath. Sometimes what I do is I pinch the brush. Oh, you can't see it. Sorry, I'm actually in the bathroom using the sink. So it's like this. It's obviously the same way the whole way through and I pinch it so it's thinner. So I do that sometimes as a little trick so I don't have to dirty another brush. So usually I would do that and have, see that color underneath there, but I don't know, I'm just gonna bring this smoke in. I've got my Tarte, I need to know what this, oh, Blush Bazaar palette. I love the packaging on this, so it's gotta be one of my favorites. Literally just blushes. So what I usually do is I just hold it up like this and I'm like, which color do I like best? I think what I'm gonna do today. Oh, this is so stressful. I'm gonna mix this one and then put a little bit of this one here. So, what's this? Skillful is my main blush color. And then I'm gonna put Dainty a little bit just like on the apples of my cheeks. Standard angle brush. I'm using my Maybelline Big Eyes Mascara. The black side and I'm going to line underneath my eye and then I'm gonna use my NYX attractable lip liner it's basically the same as an eye pencil see the color there it's like quite glowy so that's gonna brighten my eyes I'm gonna use my Kat Von D tattoo liner. I have the dagger one, which you see is a flat edge. So it's really good. I'm going to do a really thin line. I don't really want it to be visible. It's just to hide the lash band. And so I'm going to go here and literally just tap. And because it's not a point and it's the little dagger, you can just like stencil it on the whole way. <laughs> So I'm just going to go in now with my lash curler, curl my lashes and apply my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. So the last thing I want to do kind of to my eyes is go in with some highlight, Anastasia Beverly Hills, the M Reezy Highlight. R36 brush. So just using my Urban Decay All Nighter. 
I've put my lashes on. You can see I've put on just a pair that's like really kind of spaced out um, and thinner so that you can really get the smokiness of the eye. I wanted the intensity to stay there, but just a little bit of like blah, blah, blah. So let's do lips. I am doing a ColourPop lip pencil. I love Sarahi um, and ColourPop collab. So I'm going to overline my lips. Come back. Also, I don't actually know how to say the name of the lip pencil, like, maybe it's like, I love Sarah High. I probably butchered her name. I'm so sorry. I need you to survive. She said, oh, I want you to walk right. So I can give you. Okay, so I don't know if this is a good idea, but I'm going to use my Sports Girl lipstick in the color Slay. So you can see it's a um, pinky kind of color, and I'm going to dab that on and see what happens. So this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed it. It is very brown, but I feel like the different contrasts and kind of textures we have makes it all kind of blend together in a nice way and not just brown. I feel like that sounded different in my head to when I said it. This is the first time I did my hair like this as well. So let me know in the comments below what you think. I wanted it to be kind of like mermaid, loose, beachy waves. So if you do like it, oh, I just noticed my hand in the camera. I better wash that. If you do like it, let me know. You can just let me know in the comments below and I can always do a tutorial on it. Um, one thing I didn't do is put texture stuff in my hair. So it is... Like, I've, I've hairsprayed it now. But anyway, okay, details. So don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, bye!